match four kicks off for STL Gateway Ballers at Fairmont University in West Virginia for the 2018 WRO Nationals. This is the robotic soccer competition. Go ballers. Oh, turn it around, turn it around. Get the goalie back in goal, guys. All right, so that was a reset because the ball got snagged over there on the wall. Ballers making another run at it here. Could be a goal, could be a goal. And it's in, goal one to the Ballers. From St. Louis, STL Gateway Ballers. So the other team's gonna kick off here. STL Gateway Ballers moving it downfield, just wide. So they're gonna recenter the ball back at the middle of the field. One goal apiece at this point. That one looked like it was about to go wide, but they were able to push it in. Gateway ballers with the ball pushing downfield. So far in the first three matches, the STL Gateway Ballers are the only team to win all three matches so far. And they've got a very solid goal differential. They've scored several goals against their opponents. Now their goalie is out of the goal. Resetting the goalie in front of the goal. Reset the field here. All right, we're back in action here. STL Gateway Ballers pushing down the field. Ball goes to the far wall. Each robot is applying pressure from each side of the infrared ball, and sometimes the ball will get uh, stuck up against one of the perimeter walls. So they reset the field. And here we go. Gateway Ballers with an attack. Shot goes just wide. Hits the back wall, so it comes back out to midfield. The opponent's goalkeeper was inactive. and might have had a problem with their brick of the robot, so it'll be off the field for a minute. Hopefully the SDL Gateway Ballers can take advantage of that, put the ball in the net in the meantime. Of course, their own goalkeeper needs to get back and cover up there. Here we go. This could go somewhere. Uh, it went wide. And that ball hasn't touched the back wall yet, so that one minute of penalty time for the goalkeeper is ticking away, but the STL Gateway Ballers are not able to take advantage of that yet. Game is still tied at one apiece. All four robots are on the field. Now what is the STL Gateway Ballers goalkeeper doing jammed in the corner of the field? What's going on guys? <coughs> wondering if it has something to do with the cameraman over there. I'm wondering if there's some infrared signal that they're 
goalkeeper is picking up and that's why it keeps pulling. I'll be curious to see if it continues to move towards the cameraman. Game tied at one apiece. We're about to kick off the second half here. The opposing team kicked off first half, so the STL Gateway Ballers will have the kickoff for the second half. Two, one, here we go. Gateway Ballers pushing up, get a quick one, get a quick one. Oh, touch the back wall, so it's gonna go back to the midfield. Near side of the field. Gateway ballers are trying to pull the ball off the wall, but frequently the infrared ball, which is about, mm, about the, in between the size of a baseball and a softball, will get caught up against the side of the field periodically. And these robots that are constructed from Lego Technic components and sensors and some other high-tech equipment, if those pieces fall off, they get collected and teams can repair their robots later on. Not in the middle of the match, though. This looks like a promising run for STL Gateway Ballers. Looks like they're trying to pull the ball back into infield. Uh oh, just shy of the post. Gateway Ballers have to get around the ball and move it back down to the other end of the field. Tucked there, Wallace, and now it's back out to midfield. Maybe if they could get that goalkeeper to move out and take a shot. Here, maybe we've got another goal here. What's this going to be? What's it gonna be, what's it gonna be? Oh, just wide of the post. Can we give him half a point for that? That'd be nice. Something's wrong with the other team's goalkeeper, so we got an open goal here. Can the STL Gateway Ballers take advantage of the fact that there is an open goal? Of course, the other team's striker is playing good, pretty good defense against it. Could this be? Oh, and now they graze the other goal post. Maybe if they can give it a half a point on each side, that'd be uh, enough to push them forward here. Still with the game tied one to one. We're here at Fairmont University in Fairmont, West Virginia for the WRO 2018 National Championships into some of the final rounds of robot soccer, completely autonomous here on the six foot by eight foot fields at the sports complex in Fairmont, West Virginia. Time must be ticking down. They play two five minute halves for each matchup. And as it stands right now, I think the STL Gateway Ballers could potentially score a goal here. Let's see what happens. Looks like the opponent's striker robot. Oh, that's too bad. As it stands now, uh, STL Gateway Ballers are at the top of their bracket, undefeated. And I think they also have the highest goal differential. So, I think the odds of them moving forward into the next round beyond this are pretty promising, especially if they can score this goal. They score! They're up 2-1. to one. STL, Gateway Ballers, representing St. Louis, Missouri at Fairmont University in Fairmont, West Virginia. I can tell you the STL Gateway Ballers have worked hard. They're both students from Parkway West Senior High School, just outside of St. Louis in Baldwin. They have made sacrifices since the beginning of the school year after school, skipping other activities so they could be working on their home pitch to develop these robots and code them to be able to track down this infrared ball and score goals. Um, they actually had to disassemble the robots and rebuild them this morning. Oh, they've scored again. The score now in this field is 3-1 in favor of the SDL Gateway Ballers, representing St. Louis Strong in West Virginia. Here come the ballers again. You can tell 
Looks like those robots might be, are they stuck together? <laughs> They'll have to be carefully separated so that the cables or sensors aren't. There we go. Time must be ticking down here. This has got to be close to the final seconds of the second half of this match with the STL Gateway Ballers up 3-1 to one over their opponents. That's game. Congratulations to the STL Gateway Ballers. They're 4-0 undefeated.